In the load method of the form, we're now going to create our threads. So thread start. one thread to move the progress bar and one thread to populate the grid view. Over here let's go ahead and populate, comment out these two non-thread saved functions. Let's go back over to the, to the form and double click on the start button. This will create a button clicky click method for us. And let's go pthread dot start SQL thread dot start we'll go button one dot enabled equals false button two dot enabled equal true go back double click on the stop button and we'll do p thread dot abort SQL thread dot abort and then button one dot enabled equals true button two dot enabled equals false and let's run it click on start grid views populated and the monitor progress bar is running so a reason someone would, would want to do something like this is if they wanted to, to, to monitor a table on the database to, to see if a new company is added. Uh, you can change the check for new, for new company to run you know, once every five minutes, once every 10 minutes, however often you wanted it to be. And the, and the same can be applied to if you have a error table, if you're performing transactions. Uh, every time an, an error is created, you can look on the, on the table and take, and take an action. So in conclusion, we created and populated a Windows form grid view using C Sharp. We add and configured a progress bar using C Sharp and we implemented threading using the method invoker, threads, and locks in C-sharp.